Good morning. Hello, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here. It's actually, yes, a summer day. It's a miracle down here in Australia. So I thought I'd come out and shoot this video. I know you guys love to hear the birds and check out my little bits of gardening, my little terrabella. Um, so if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification so now my videos pop up. And also, don't forget to hit the like buttons, guys. And oh, I'm trying to get you straight, guys. And feel free to comment down below. We've got a little community here. I love what you suggested yesterday, Martin. You called us the Terribellians. Oh, I thought it was fantastic. Um, you know, that's exactly what we are, aren't we? We're this little community of people who have fought for freedom. And now we've found that little bit of peace and freedom in amongst all the chaos. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a great new word that we can use. So thank you for that, Martin. Um, so I'll close my eyes. I'll get started and we'll see what comes up for the 5th of Feb. I'm just getting the word like restrictions, 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 and we know they're coming. It's a bit hard to avoid, isn't it? We know that this is going to be the year where people are going to get hit hard by the reset agenda, and there's going to be a lot of restrictions. Now, we've had restrictions, we know, during the CV lockdowns, but these are different. These are going to be, as we know in England, you're getting hit with the 15-minute cities. You're going to be restricted on how far you can travel. They're going to get tighter on the borders, the traveling restrictions, um, but it's also, this is about energy and renewables and it, you know if you don't have an electric car you can't travel further than your 15 minutes this is going to start to happen in small ways but it's going to start to happen um, you're going to get restricted if you're not as we know the word complying to um, what they're dishing out so if you've got a like gas guzzler car you're not going to be able to travel very far you're going to get restricted we knew that was always coming so this is going to start to happen, might not happen to, until the second sort of half of the year, but they're going to start to get some sort of control and, and restrict people <coughs> when it comes to their emissions, definitely emissions, but it also could be to do with electricity and air conditioning, um, sorry, heating and cooling. I think in some parts of the world they already do that. They only allow you to use your air conditioner for a couple of hours a day or your heater for a few hours at night or you get a time slot. So I feel like that sort of thing is going to start to come out. There's going to be a lot more of this restrictions and control. Um, I, and the, you know what I don't understand, guys, is a lot of these people who are jabbed, they think we've got freedom, that we're all free. If you're unjabbed or you're vaccine mandated or you've been injured or whatever your story is here, these people think we've got our freedom back, but we don't. We can't travel to a lot of countries. There's a lot of places we can't go into if we're unjabbed. They don't see things from our perspective, see, so they don't understand like what we all go through. They just don't get it. So you know we still have a lot of restrictions on us we're still not completely 100 percent free like that's not freedom is it if you're still being told what country you can and can't go to and visit so a lot of people aren't aware of that too um all right let's see where else we go Oh, they're saying to me there's even more disturbing things coming out that are being swept under the carpet now and this isn't i think most of us here on this channel have seen the um documentary died suddenly there's a lot of young people um dying suddenly we know that there is we know this is a lot about the blood clots and the um vaccine side effects but there's even more that's being hidden and covered up now. And this is what I was saying to you the other day. A lot of people are keeping um, their information close to their chest, people who have been jab injured. They're very, very nervous about who they share that information with because they don't want to be targeted. So I am getting that there's more injuries. I think they've even been talking, haven't they been talking about kidneys and things like this? Um, there, there's a lot more you know than just the clotting and the myocarditis i think we've all known that for a while but i do feel that there's going to be movements around other things it's not just going to be about um heart problems gosh we definitely know you know i've been telling you for a while about someone i know that had that paralysis in the face after would have been getting a jab for sure um there's a lot of that look at um justin bieber there's so many people out there that have had injuries 
um, around these jabs and and the um, the scope of the injuries is getting bigger and broader and bigger and broader and bigger and broader and that's what I keep saying to you people are coming together and they're discussing um, well it always seems to be a common thread that they're discussing um, and we know what the common thread is um, it's usually um, starts with a B and ends in an R it's the top-ups yes the top-up of the pickies seem to be triggering a lot of things in people um, and that's being hidden as well but people are coming together in movements now they are these movements are getting massive that's what the guides are saying so there's a lot of a lot of things oh sorry I got some fluff in my eye um, not just myocarditis guys that this is starting to have an impact on people's overall body health well we know we always knew here that it was going to affect the immune system we always knew about spike protein most of you on my channel we follow people like John Campbell Dr. Robert Malone God you name it there's that many people out there telling their truth um, who are always shut down of course and silenced but you know we knew it was going to affect the immune system how many people do you know that are jabbed to the hilt have all been getting CV heaps I could name you know a handful of people that have had it two and three times who were jabbed now aren't they supposed to be protected for that so they were clearly lied to they know they were lied to um, they can deny it all they want but they know they were lied to it, the jab didn't do what it said it would and now their immune system is going to start dropping that could be the other major thing about this the immune system see we there's always been this hovering and it's horrifying to even think about especially associated with Fauci the horrifying um, <sighs> HIV that always hovers in the background about you know the collapsing of the immune system so I'm getting this could be one of the big things that's starting to um, mm, <laughs> this could be one of the movements that's starting to take off in people like why have they got suddenly they were healthy people and now they've got for example AIDS HIV whatever you want to call it um, it's the same thing isn't it I think but this is what's starting to happen. You know, maybe that's why we get a lot of um, Queen songs on here. Have you ever thought about that, guys? I got that song the other day, um, Who Wants to Live Forever, with the Braveheart kind of visual. Um, and that's a Queen song. Who wants to live forever? And he died of AIDS, didn't he, Freddie Mercury? So it's interesting. We do get a lot of Queen songs um, at times on here. So I'm just getting that visual in my mind of Freddie Mercury. So I just had to mention it because he did die of AIDS. So I do feel like these kind of movements are growing as well. Um, oh, we knew that they'd always grow, didn't we? But nobody listened to us. What did we know? We're the stupid, unjabbed people who were killing people. And, you know, we were the weak links in the chain, apparently. That's what I got told heaps of times. <laughs> it was unbelievable what went on to us, wasn't it, guys? Even you guys, if you're mandated and you know vaccine injured you cop the same thing you were too scared to speak out because the vilification and the ostracization from society was just so bad and still continues to be like i say guys we're never really going to connect with those people again because we've left them behind i always say there's this lag period of people catching up um they're all waking up at different at a different pace so we're over here <laughs> behind Wilson's fence there's a good visual of Wilson's fence guys I often talk here about us being behind the fence just looking out and observing which is a very good place to be like Wilson off um, tool time the show if anyone's wondering what that is yes my privacy screen <laughs> blocks a lot of things out um, so that's still us <laughs> and that's the safest place to be place to be still all right hang on let me see what else we got or oh, China's coming for everyone. We knew they were going to. I said this weeks ago, China's still going to use their intimidation. They can't help it. I did see the balloon. Yes, the China balloon. Um, I don't know what the balloon was exactly doing. Oh, it's a spy balloon, wasn't it? So why didn't America just shoot it down and get rid of it? Why would you leave a spy balloon floating around? Maybe they did shoot it down, I don't know. But it was just so ridiculous. All the big drama about this little 
balloon floating around, honestly. But they don't make a big hoo-ha about all the UFO sightings and that. They hid that from everybody. <laughs> and now they're trying to be completely transparent in America. Oh, you guys, you are entertaining over there, guys. You got to admit, at least you got plenty of entertainment. Um, so we've got China and it's spying on everybody. We knew that it would. It's going to try and do the intimidation because it wants power. Oh, it wants to run the the global stage and be the political power. We've always known that here. I still don't see war. I don't see war. I just see um, intimidation. I keep getting it. And that's a classic case of in why you'd be intimidated by a balloon floating around. I don't know. But anyway, hasn't America got some really good um, military weapons and things to protect themselves against this? Oh, God, we really, well, not us, but you guys really need Biden to exit now and get someone on. You need, you need Trump, I think. You need someone up there who's going to take charge of it. Oh, what a circus show. So China's on the move. We knew they were going to be. They're vibrating their energy out, trying to scare everyone. Um, and that's all over the news, isn't it? It's just nuts. Why they give it even any airtime I don't know the real the real threat is never China I always say that as much as they want the power the threat isn't China it's your big pharma and your pharmaceutical companies that are destroying people and taking over the world with their bioweapons in the meantime oh, it's so oh no but none of that on the news is there oh, God. Oh, it's, just, it's an insane world we're living in at the moment isn't it guys mm. all right hang on let's see where else we go I'm getting Greece. I'm still getting Greece, Portugal, Spain. I am getting fight backs. People are tired. Um, I'm getting Madrid um, exhaustion. I'm getting exhausted energy of the people. Um, they're getting really fired up in their belly now. See, people don't want it. They do not want this. Oh, but see what we've got to remember guys with these people waking up and the people in their bubble denial suits They haven't seen it coming. So when they see it, it's a shock and they don't want it because they realize what's happening oh, If only they saw it coming <laughs> earlier um, Because half of it's getting implemented as we speak, isn't it? So I'm getting that for these places. They want to stand up and fight it. They don't want it um, So you might get a lot of I actually see them not as strikes. I see them more as protests in those areas. Everywhere's a little bit different. Depends how safe you feel doing what. See, strikes feel safe because it's like you're not attacking government. <laughs> protests is like a real attack on government. That's why Trudeau and people like Dan Andrews and all that just didn't cope with them because it was like a direct attack on them. Um, so I'll get, I'm getting more protests in those areas. Um, the fight backs begin. It's happening. This is the year, guys. This is the year of change. Um, hang on. God, they're showing me this drag race, and I know most of you have probably seen a drag race. You get two drag cars, and, and they're really, like, flat to the ground, and they take off, and, like, in a 10-second period, um, they can go from zero to like, what, 200 Ks or something, and it's like a race of these drag cars. And the other day we did get, or yesterday, wasn't it? We got Grease Lightning with John Travolta out of the movie Grease and the car race in the, um, what do you call it? Stormwater, the stormwater <laughs> drain. Um, well, now they're showing me this drag race and the, and the cars are like taking off and they can go from zero to like speed, like 200 kilometers an hour or whatever that is equivalent overseas um they just can just everything speeds up oh my cat's just jumped on the table hopefully she doesn't wobble it too much sorry guys everything's speeding right up so that's why we're getting this instant drag car race um takeoff so this is the year everything's speeding up oh she's knocking my camera now sorry guys i'm gonna have to move her whoa there she is you can say hello to her first hi lily good girl she's a good girl <laughs> she's knocking everything up pets <laughs> um, so I'm getting this drag race and everything's taking off it's being sped up we knew it was around the um, reset agenda rollout we knew that was happening so now I'm getting it's happening really really quickly um, to the point that people have to wake up because it's happening too quickly now it's right in their face they can't not wake up um, that's why we're getting the taking off of the drag car from 0 to 100 
that's the speed that these global elites want this reset to take off because they just want it implemented and done. They're sick of it dragging on. So you've got to remember for them, <laughs> oh, for all of us actually, it's been a real process. They've had to do it in stages and then they did this and then they had to backflip and do that and then they had to try something else. Look at Trudeau. He's had to backtrack heaps. You know, hit everyone really hard. Oh, let's go really hard and let's squash everyone's bank accounts and do everything. And then the whole world stood up and woke up. And then he, well, not the whole world, probably a, a quarter, <laughs> all us freedom fighters. And everybody stood up and started protesting and woke up to the reset and what was going on. So then they had to quieten down and get a little bit of sense of calm again. So, but this is what's gonna happen this year. They're hitting so hard that it's forcing people to wake up because they feel like they're running out of time. See, it's the old, quick, we gotta get this done. We're running out of time or too many people will wake up and we won't get it all implemented. And then we'll never get it done. And see, they want jabs in arms and all that and money, money, big pharma. Gosh, I told you about them here pushing these new health clinic facilities or whatever they're up to. And we all know what it's about. It's about getting more jabs in arms and getting more dollars in their pocket, big pharma, Bill Gates, you name it all. So I am feeling that drag car race now. It's not just like a car race where you just go round and around, you do like a a marathon, you know, 12 hour race. This is a race that goes from zero to 100 and it's all implemented and they want to shake their hands. That's how the global elites are seeing this year. So that means tons of people are going to wake up. They are, because they're going to realize what the speed has happened to my life. Oh, we could have told them three years ago, but nobody listens to us. I saw my girlfriend again the other day. I keep running into her. She must be thinking about me and <laughs> my channel or something. I ran into her again. You know the one I was talking about, hold your head up, and she was trying to hold her head up above me? Well, I ran into her again right in the doorway of a different shopping centre. I even went to a different shop and she was there. She must have had the same idea. Oh, and the, you should have seen the dirty look I got. Oh my God, guys. I know you guys are experiencing this too. They still hate us. It's so weird. We haven't even done anything to them. You know, that's what makes me laugh. All we did is try to show them the truth. And, and you know, because we care about people, well, that's a terrible crime, isn't it? To be in opposition to what you believe in. What does this world come to, honestly? I know you guys get it. All right, let's see what else there is today. I was just thinking now, Hippo's been very quiet over in New Zealand, hasn't he? He's just sitting back for a bit and assessing. He's, he's doing a lot of assessing. He's got a transitional period. He'll come forward soon. He's just been a little bit quiet. Maybe because of the flooding too, he's laying off the people a little bit. Um, let us know how the floods are going over there. Have they settled down? Um, are they still going on? We haven't had much on the news here, so I'm not really up to date with that. Um, so let us know how you're going in New Zealand, but maybe that's why he's laid off a little bit there. Um. <laughs> oh, this is for us guys, you're watching my channel. We have to channel our inner Buddha. Um, the guides are saying we have to channel our inner Buddha. So we ha they're showing all of us like sitting in this real Zen position, like, you know, the yoga position, and we have to channel our inner Buddha. So we have to become very, very, I guess if you think of a Buddha, yeah, it's, it's a symbol of, um, a, it's a very spiritual symbol, but it's a very, um, what would you say? Very grounded, very relaxed, very focused, um, and very calm. So we have to channel our inner Buddha. Um, and what their guides are saying, we have to find that balance again in our life. It's like the seesaw. I often talk about the seesaw and things tipping, and because we know these, that government's going to bounce on this side, is it? and they're gonna throw all the people off, the little people and peasants are gonna get flipped off the seesaw. But we've gotta find our balance somewhere in the middle of all this chaos that's coming this year. Um, very important message. We've gotta, we've gotta hone in and um, channel our inner Buddha. Because <laughs> um, we really have to find that sense of peace and calm. It's very crucial moving forward um, on how we're gonna navigate this next, well, oh, it's saying two years, the next two years. Mm, it's gonna drag on a bit, but that's okay. At least they're waking up. Um, so that's the visual I'm getting. They're showing me like a beautiful babbling brook and like a stream and that water energy. 
um, lots of flow, lots of trickling water, very calm. The showman is very calm image of us. We have to find this, this real sense of calm. It's really important. Um, and that could be through living in the now, meditation. We talk about that a lot here. Getting out in nature like this, just sitting and listening to the birds. Um, I'll leave you guys a meditation, one of my meditations here, so you can do that to help your breathing. I think a lot of us are actually feeling a little bit better. A few weeks ago, we were all feeling a little bit of anxiety, and perhaps that was moving into 2023. Um, I don't think a lot of us are there anymore. I certainly know I'm not feeling like that. I feel a lot freer at the moment in the chest and... Um, so maybe that was a collective energy of people feeling anxious about the cost of living and different things because we are a lot of sensitives we're psychics we're intuitives we're very sensitive people a lot on my channel and we do pick up a lot of other people's energy so I'm just getting that sort of show me that Japanese kind of Zen garden with the water trickling through it and just that peaceful <laughs> um, just that peaceful energy of a beautiful Japanese garden um, they're showing me the, is it the koi, the fish in the water? Um, that's just the image I'm getting. Just the, the shaped like boxes, the hedges. Um, and if you think about topiary or, you know, doing bonsai or trimming anything, like that's like being out in your garden. I think that's why a lot of us are drawn to gardening because it's very calming. It's a very calming sort of um, hobby. So I'm getting that trim, you know, the trim trees that are shaped, the topiary, and the, just that trickling, babbling little stream running through. And we're just sitting there in this Buddha Zen energy. That's what I'm getting for us. That's the place we have to get to this year and into next year. We have to find our real sense of inner calm. Um, because the guides are saying this is not about our voice anymore. It's not about our voice anymore. We don't need to speak our truth because we've already been speaking our truth. God, we speak it all the time here on my channel and we've learned um, how to navigate this. So we don't have to keep speaking our truth anymore um, because it's going to happen anyway. It's trusting. See, the guides keep saying, just trust. Just trust now. Um, that's, the big, um, that's the big message for today. Hang on a sec. I'll see there's something else to close with today. God, they're showing all of us, and it's like it is showing me, like, of course, we've got to have the Japanese tea house to go with the Japanese calming <laughs> um, vibe. But they're showing me that we've put this mat out, and it's got welcome on it. It's a welcome mat. It's a welcome for anyone who's waking up, anyone who wants to um, see the truth. And it's us sliding the door open. We're sliding that door open, and we're saying welcome and it's showing us with our arm like saying welcome come on in come on into the light virtually is what is what i'm getting we're always open and we keep shining our light and we're always welcoming people to see the truth um in coming for a nice cup of tea in our japanese tea house <laughs> which is another ceremony isn't it but what it's saying is we're, we've still got open arms to people just finding out the truth we don't care what to what they think of us it's irrelevant it always has been um god we wouldn't do what we did if we worried what other people think of us would we um that's for sure um Hang on a sec. You know, it just reminds me that saying that I watched um, I watched that Pamela Anderson documentary on Netflix um, last night. It was really interesting. It was very very good actually. I actually really enjoyed it. If you get a chance to watch it, watch it um, because it's like her perspective looking back at her life. But it's also about how she coped with some of the terrible things that did happen to her. We know all about the sex tapes and all that kind of stuff that came out but um, how they dealt with it. And, and it was really interesting because they had to find a way to move through that really traumatic um, part of their life, but they did. And then it got brought up again because I think they made a mini series or something about it. And, and when she rang, she rang Tommy Lee to say they were doing it again and he just said, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect us. You know, just get on with your life. It's not it was sort of, he, he sort of, as weird as that was, Tommy Lee, most of you know, I think he was from that band, was it Motley Crue, something like that. And, you know, he gave us some good words just to get on with it, don't worry about it. 
it's not, you know, it's kind of not your business. So it, it, I got a few things from that show. It was actually really interesting. And, and she's kind of um, found a freedom as well, is what she was saying. It was kind of interesting. It's probably worth having a look at, guys, because I did get a lot out of that, just about her finding that freedom as well and, and finally accepting who she is. Um, who she is as a person because she'd been through a lot I think a lot of us aren't aware of all the things she went through as a child and things like that so it was kind of um, an interesting show but it's that freedom so you could really tell that she had finally found her little peaceful place um, it's got her walking along the beach and she'd found her little bit of Terra Bella as well like it's so interesting the journeys that we all have and I think that's more what I'm relating to we all have our journey and it leads us to somewhere doesn't it um, and that's just what I got out of it. But I did find that interesting. She's kind of found that that personal freedom inside. And it just reminded me of all of us guys and the way that we finally found that even though the world is like falling down around us in a major way, we still found these little places of, you know, peace. Um, that's why we're getting, you know, those visions of the Japanese gardens and the, the koi and the fish swimming. And just I'm just getting all these visuals at the moment of that. Um, I'll see if there's something else to close with today. God, you know what's interesting? They're giving me this huge visual of this Japanese bridge and it's in the middle of our Japanese garden but it's this big red Japanese bridge and we're on all on it this is all you guys us terribillions <laughs> and we're all on it and someone's taking our photo and and it's like it, it's the passing it's the bridge of passing over this is interesting, isn't it? And it's the bridge of passing over from being asleep to being awake. And so we're like leading the charge again. We're on this big bridge. We're getting our photo taken because we've led people on this big journey. And now we're, it's like this passing over. So as we move across the, the big Japanese bridge, other people are gonna start to follow. This is what's gonna happen. We've created the movement. So that's why I'm getting that Japanese bridge and it's particularly red. It's painted very red and it's a very vibrant red so you can't miss it. And we're all getting a big photo taken. It's like we're all standing there going, cheese, and we're all very proud. So there's this sense of real pride um, of all of us standing on this bridge. Oh my God, we get some weird things on this channel. <laughs> and now they're giving me that most ridiculous song. Oh my God. Oh, you guys are gonna lose it when I say it. I'm even losing it inside. I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Du -du 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 -du. Turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Oh, they give us some crazy stuff. I think they do that just for a laugh, guys. Sometimes I honestly do. But we're gonna then head off and move off the the. They, they're calling it the Freedom Bridge. The Freedom Bridge. Uh, that's just what I'm getting. It's called the Freedom Bridge. Um, and it's it's the bridge that takes you to freedom. And so we've already found it. So now we're just getting this big picture because it's like the gateway, like the entry. Um, so that's why we're getting that visual for this year moving forward. People are going to be passing over the Freedom Bridge. Um, hang on a sec. I'll see if something to close with. getting a song hang on a minute let me think of it hang on oh you can hear my crows in the minute while we're while we're waiting for a song out the jukebox god i'm getting that song again <laughs> Winter, spring, summer or fall, all you gotta do is call and I'll be there, yes I will. You've got a friend. So we're still getting, you've got a friend, meaning all of us are connected and we have got friends, we're not alone. I think that's what the guys are trying to say to us, even though we've probably lost a lot of family, lost a lot of friends along the way, um, we still have friends 
don't, you know, you don't need, everybody always says you don't need 30 friends. You just need, you know, two or three or maybe five <laughs> really true good friends. Um, so I'm getting that song again. We get that song a bit here, don't we, guys? I think it's just a way of connecting us, to be quite honest. Because um, we do communicate a lot on my channel. So feel free to do that if you're new here. Um, hang on a sec. Oh, sometimes they just bombard me at the end. I get like verses of everything. It's really weird, isn't it? Hang on a minute. God, sometimes I just can't get it, guys. Hang on, bear with me. There's a bit of commotion out here. It's Sunday morning, so there's like dogs and cars and people, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to be my best Buddha Zen Buddha. Hang on. Oh, here comes the cat again to knock the phone over. Sorry, guys. You know she's going to. I'll just move her away. No, got to scratch her ears on it. Gosh, how's pets? Hang on. No, oh, they're giving me everything. Oh, my cat. I'll try and hone in on something. Maybe if I pick her up, she might bring me some zen energy. There she is. <laughs> She's a cute little thing. Oh, they're giving me two songs today. I'm getting that John Travolta song again from... It's, it, I'm sure it's from Staying Alive. So this is it. And they can up and dance and then I want it. I can't remember what it's called. You know what I'm like, you know how bad I am. So this is it. It's the one where they're in the aerobics tights. I never want it. And, he, and John Travolta said, save me darling. I am there but I am far from over. Anyway, it's from that, it's from Staying Alive, I'm sure of it, it the one about the dancing. Um, it was like a dance off. Well, that's John Travolta. So I'm getting that song today. This is it, meaning this is it. We've hit the big turn of the shift and the great awakening. And then I'm also getting, <laughs> I'm also getting this song for us guys. It's from, oh, I think it's from Saturday Night Fever, actually. Um, Oh no, it's staying alive from Saturday Night Fever, isn't it? Oh, get, oh, get so muddled up, guys. You know what I'm like? No, but this song is from the end, and it's where John Travolta, and this is us, and we're strutting. Um, it's where at the end of that, John Travolta's at the end of, of the movie Saturday Night Fever, he's strutting. He's walking down the, strut, um, the street by himself, and he's got this strut. My dog does it. We often call it um, the strut. My dog, Sophie, she walks with this like waddle. And, and it's like a confidence walk and your head's up and that's what I'm getting for us today and I'm going to leave you with that image. I want you to go and play it today because that's us this year. We're going to be walking with our head high and a great confidence and um, knowing that people are waking up and they're finally going to see the truth. And, and I'm just thinking what the song is. It goes... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. And you can't love, is it warm? And you can't give in that I was born. Cause I'm all right, I think I can. And you can look the other way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Whether you're alive or you're staying alive. Is it staying alive? Is that the song? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hopeless, guys, by the Bee Gees. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. You guys go sort out the songs today. <laughs> I'm just, oh my God. I've got to go do some mowing, honestly, and clear my head for a while and go and do my Buddha Zen um, relaxation. I'll leave a meditation over here, guys, if anyone wants to do some anxiety breathing. And um, let's go look at those videos for John Travolta. <laughs> Oh, I think it's off. Oh, I don't know. It's the one where he's in the aerobics tight, aerobics dance, or his dancer, and the other one. Oh, maybe that is off Saturday Night Fever, and the song's called Staying Alive. I don't know. But anyway, we're strutting at the end. That's all I know. Okay, that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Go check out those videos. I'll leave them on my Facebook page. <laughs> and I'll say goodbye from Australia. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine. I'll share a bit of sunshine with you guys over there who are frozen to death in Canada and England and Wales. And God, everywhere. You guys are freezing. And America, you're probably just as cold. All right. Take care and hit the like buttons, remember. Comment and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.